Hey, howdy, folks. This is Wolf from 4966. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to speak as, as much as possible, but it's uh, 11:30. I got a neighbor to eat. He's got to be up early. Um, <clears throat> get close to the camera here. Uh, I'd like to do a retraction on. Uh, I said some stuff about Patreon and uh, GoFundMe. Um, these could be great tools for people who really need it. It's a sad story that there's some out there that abuse it. You know, that's what makes it, in my mind, a bad thing. I mean, I'm not uh, not downing everybody. I mean, uh, uh, Brian Farmer in the Philippines and Ran and a couple others kind of showed me the era of my uh, overpowering dislike for them but um it can be a good thing until people take advantage of it when they start being doing illegal things like you know taking advantage of uh, okay there's a GoFundMe up there right for uh let's say baby faith and then you got these scumbags that go out there and they go oh man man there's all kinds of funds going to this and what do they do they go out there and go Oh, well, there's a second GoFundMe for, um, let's say, um, for the MRI. And they're, and then you got people that are actually there that are trying to help. And, you know, and it's like taking advantage of the poor. Again, you know, trying to get rich off somebody else's pain and misery. That That's where I draw a line and I say... And I draw the line, and I say, that's when it's a bad thing. Is when scumbags, scammers, and people take advantage of the GoFundMe and the, uh, the Patreon. I mean, there's there's some people that need it. I mean, uh, I hate to say it. I mean, Chris from uh, Chris ran from uh, a Brent in the Philippines. I see his need for it. I see his need for it. He does, he does things. He just doesn't, he doesn't broadcast. He doesn't, he, he doesn't make a video about, oh, I'm going out here to help all these people. Look at me. You know, because, you know, a lot of people, they're, they're willing to help, but they want to stay anonymous. And, and there's a reason why, you know, there's a lot of us out there that are Christians, man. We're, we're supposed to serve without recognition. Yes, we're supposed to serve without recognition. So when you see a preacher on TV going, you know, just call in and give me my 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 new Mercedes. I mean, uh, donation. That's where it comes from. That's where my thinking comes from. I'm I'm sorry. I apologize. Apologize to all those who are legit and um, really need Patreon. Really need GoFundMe. Um. Brian, Brian Farming in the Philippines, I really admire, man, and, and I look up to you, man, dude. Uh, you're probably a little bit younger than me, but uh, when you demonetized your own channel to put that out about baby faith, I grew another aspect of respect and, and thought of you more honorable now. Uh, I always thought you were, but you just keep reinforcing it. And uh, Ren's the same way. I mean, Ren, Ren brought it up to me. Uh, um, he said, oh, I don't always agree with everything you do or say, you know. Man, I, that's positive input, man. That's positive input. You know, and he's had a couple videos where I just said, wow, man. I don't know if, if I agree with that, but you know, that's like, like I told him, man, that's our, our styles, man. I shoot from the hip, I shoot from the heart, you know, I've been accused of wearing my heart on my sleeve and that's my problem. No, I don't see it as a problem because I might, I might wear my heart on my sleeve, but I got AK-47 on the side <laughs> and a Bible in the other hand. But um, I just, you know, I was I was thinking about this 
I've really been thinking about it. It took me two days. I think it's one or two days since I put out a video. And I'm like, you know, I don't want to be that anger management guy. You know, I don't want to be that anger management guy. I'm not angry. And I definitely don't want to be the guy attending positivity uh, feel-good seminars. I guess that's why I call them. Because um, I'm not a negative person. I don't like to be a negative person. If, if, if you, you got to do your research, you know, uh, well, like with baby faith, my research was Brian from farming in Philippines brought it up. It was in Terrence Flannery's, which Terrence got two, two names, but anyways, it was in Terrence Fam, uh, Flannery's video, you know, a foreigner in the Philippines. They know each other. They know pretty much the same people, and you you know you look at it, and the, the baby's not getting better. The baby's getting worse, and yeah, uh, hydrocephalitis can can kill a baby. Usually, uh, if a baby gets it when they're an infant, they're not given no more than two years to live. So, baby Faith already had her first birthday. And they still have the the poster up there, which I, that's that's fine. I mean, I'm I'm fine with that because they don't know they don't know if she's gonna have a second birthday. You know, I sometimes I wish there was a better solution, like you know, like maybe if the United States or some Western countries to have this, we have all this high technology. And we've got kids that go through this all the time here in America, and they're cured. They're cured within within a month. I know I said there's no cure for diseases, but this is one thing that's that can be cured if the stents are put in properly, and they got to be dual stents for severe cases, because that that brain fluid's got to drain. That over excess of uh, hydro which is water on the brain needs to drain and go somewhere so what I'm saying is uh, I'm going to give you all a, an official I was wrong I wasn't 100% wrong but I was wrong and uh, I do apologize um, go find me and Patreon wasn't set up how some people use it but, like I always tell you, buyer beware. Go on this, uh, I think his name is Mark. Mark kicked in and said, hey, you know, uh, they banned, uh, they banned, you know, Terrence and Beth from doing this. And uh, if you look at their videos, they've lost already a couple people that they didn't have to lose. You know, like the diabetic, the, the kid that was a diabetic. That kid was in his 20s, man. Come on now. Um, if people just allowed them to do their work, they, that probably would not happen. Or it could have happened. Who knows? But he would have had a chance. Um, I just uh, I just thought I'd put it out to you, man. There's just something I had was on my mind, man. I just... Uh, you know, I do have a conscience and I do have a soul. And uh, people could tell me I wear my heart on my sleeve all I want. I don't care. That's me. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you that as it is. Hold on. Whoops. But uh, that was rant, Chris Rand. But I mean, if there's people out there trying to get just try to get money and it's for them and that's a different story. You know if. It's a different story. If they're hurting, if their channel's hurting, and they need some Patreon support, maybe it's not a bad thing. Maybe it's not a bad thing. What it is is when you got one mil subscriber. That's an example. You got one mil subscriber, and you're constantly getting a hundred to nine hundred thousand views. What do you need the Patreon account for?